I expected Sorry. Tim to ask this question, but he hasn't, so I'm going to. Um, <laughs> just knowing Tim, I feel like this is something he would ask. Um, a lot scary. of <laughs> say what? So that's always scary to hear. Okay. No, he'll agree with this <laughs> statement. No, I, 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 he probably has no idea what I'm going to say, but I feel like it's at the right time in the conversation to <laughs> swing it in there. Okay. Um, so. I don't know, 2010 timeframe, everyone wanted to build their own app. Everyone wanted to build their own thing. And it was a lot of people without software development experience that a lot of these ideas would come out and they would get, you know, Zuckerberg and mad that, you know, someone so stole my idea, right? Mm -hmm. We're at decade plus one year at this point now. And people still are kind of idea people and there's tech people that can actually build it. Yep. Um, you on your team in, in your, in your founders have technical talent that can actually develop the thing. It seems like a lot of companies who still have not figured that aspect out are going to continue to lose because mm -hmm. they are going to take whatever money they do have and, and, this is just from a founder perspective. They they're gonna they're just gonna start sending that money offshore. They're gonna send it even even in America and have people build this thing. They get something out there and then they realize, oh, I've spent all my money on the tech to get it done instead of actually like get this thing in people's hands. Like, yeah. how important has it been? I think I, I put that story in there pretty well. How <laughs> I don't know. Tim will be like, oh, I would have done this instead, <laughs> but. Like, why aren't people figuring that aspect out yet? Like, cause it's, it's, it's clear as day to me. Like if you have to pay, if you have 50 grand, a hundred grand, and you're going to put that towards technical things instead of finding someone to actually build that for you on staff, on team, on, in your founder aspect, like how important has that been for you guys to actually get that, the, the, the tech stack out there so that you guys can actually succeed and not just have an idea, if you will. Yeah. So again, one of my benefits is that my co-founder is a software engineer, right? So she has had that brain from day one and has brought that to the table. So again, ahead of the curve there, but we've kind of gone through three different stages. So like MVP straight out the door, like Liza built what we had for probably the first year and a half, two years. Um, and then we outsourced to like a local firm in the, the national capital region to kind of get, um, that was right after the angel round to get like the first move us out of our manual process that was still technology based, but you know, like WordPress plugin based to get us to like the first stage of our, our own technology. And then after the series seed round last January, we are now working and building in our own in-house team. Um, and so I think those, those stages were right for that time. But there definitely is um, something that has to happen when you do have the technology and the proprietary stuff behind you to get it out in front. And whether that's beta or that's testing or that's an opportunity for people to see before it's ready to go, um, good ideas are good ideas. And a lot of people don't have that technical background. So finding whether it's a founding team, maybe your first hire is not a CTO, but a, a software engineer or a product manager, like somebody who can take your idea and put it into technology. And, and I see that even when like I mentor startups, right? Full of great ideas, but totally have no idea on how to actually make it a product or get it out there. Yeah, I think it has to look so it. perfect. And it's like, hold on, if this thing really is rocket, like if, if this thing is rocket fuel for someone's life, then it will help someone and they'll be willing to take it even in its ugliest of form. I mean, for example, look at Reddit. I mean, it's the ugliest damn thing in the internet and it, it's a top well, five I mean, website, I would assume. And the yeah. user interface for Amazon is horrible. It's been the same for yeah. 15 years. And all they yeah. do is sell books online. Craigslist, I think, was another conversation I saw Not recently. Craigslist. Like... <laughs> so, yeah, it is. It's. It's hard and it's a challenge, especially like if you're a solo founder and you're trying to figure all of this out, like having a co-founder, my plus is that she was also a software or is a software engineer. Sure. But imagine if you were two business folks, right? And didn't have that aspect right. of it. It's like, hey, like you yep. better be rich. Yep. Well, or you find it, that it, a lot, like people who wanted who have an idea of for an app on nutrition. Well, they're probably nutritionists or they're doctors, right? They they'd have no hands-on way. But you to probably don't like this is maybe getting into the weeds, but like, let's say it's that example, 
right? You just need to put together a website, have some sort of membership. If you want to charge for that thing, there's a WordPress membership thing out there, pay the 70 bucks to get it and then charge people in that kind of way. And if you can't get people to pay you through that, what makes you think that just because they can download some stupid thing on, on the app store, it's going to make anything better. And they don't want to hear that because their baby is perfect. And it's like, hold on. Yeah. No, I mean, five years in, we're still not where we need to go. Right. Like it's, it's evolution. Facebook is changing every single day. If Facebook can't figure it out, what makes you think that your idea? But bringing everything back down to the raising money aspect. I mean, it's a whole lot easier to go to investors and say, Hey, we got 525 people that are on our platform. Now we need to add the technology so that we have these capabilities as opposed to saying, Hey, Someday we may have 500 people. We don't know if it's going to work or not, but if you can give us a couple million dollars to try to figure it out, we're going to, that's what we want to do. So, I mean, you've done things the right way and and a lot of people just don't get it. Or want to hear it. Or want to hear it. (laughs) Yeah. As someone who's been directly involved within the startup community for almost a decade, I want to talk to you about a serious pain point, spending a ton of time trying to understand the business landscape in the 757. That's time that should be focused on growing the business. At Startwheel, we're here to help you by compiling all of the news you need to know about in one place. Now there's no need to search multiple websites. Just head to startwheel.org and see for yourself. That's startwheel.org.